not do it again. <laughs> okay. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sky. This is Skylee TV, and today we're going to be talking about um, something super exciting, and that is a grant that I just recently won. So, if you want to learn more about my application process, um, what exactly I won, my interview, my presentation, and all of that, I'm spilling the tea today. So, please make sure you go ahead and like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into this video. All right. So, I'm going to start off by talking about the application process a little bit. So. The application started with just general information. They just wanted to know generally who am I, um, what do I sell, and if you're not familiar with my brand, my business is called Skylight. It's a living and lifestyle brand that currently offers handmade candles. Um, I got my hair pushed back and everything today because I am going to be making soaps and um, want to be able to put on my goggles because normally I wear glasses and my gloves and stuff, so I got on long sleeves with my Skylight hoodie. What up? All right, so after that, I had the application and then they asked questions like what makes your brand unique and I really wanted to stress in my application that Skylight is just not a company that wants to sell a product. Skylight is a lifestyle brand that really cares about people and our mission is to enhance your living and lifestyle experience, right? So um, the application, I was very thorough with it and um, on the website after I submitted it, there is a timeline or there was a timeline where you can um, see exactly when you should expect a response, um, when the funds would be granted and all of that. The grant was for a total of $5,000, but let me tell you what makes this grant even more special. So there was a total of four winners for the grant, right? Um, and and on top of the grant money, you also get a three month pop up residency at Boxyard. So um, the grant is funded by NC Idea, which is a North Carolina foundation that really um, aims to help small businesses. If you're unfamiliar with what a grant is, grant money is funding that you don't have to pay back. Um, there's also a new development called Boxyard and um, they actually collaborated with NC Idea to come up with Pop Box, which is just basically a pop-up shop and um, a grant together, right? So in total, I won $5,000 in a micro grant and also a, a pop-up residency at Boxyard. So that means I'm going to have a storefront for Skylight in um, October or I'm sorry, well, depending on construction, November, December, and January, right? Right now, it's still being built. It's a completely new facility. And let me tell you what's so freaking cool about it. Um, so all of the storefronts are made out of shipping containers. Like, literally, look up shipping container homes if you haven't already. They are fly. Like, they're so lit. So all the shipping containers are stacked up, and they're, like, um, all cool. And um, it's a mixture of different restaurants. Um, bars, um, small businesses, and there's also a really big, um, what am I saying? The stage. Oh, okay. There's also a really big stage in the middle with all these dining tables and all these things that you can go out and eat. So, eat, dine, play. There's also even um, virtual reality. So there's so much stuff to do. So I'm really, really excited for this opportunity. I know that Skylight will like fit right in. It's perfect. So, okay, let me get into now a little bit of what happened after after the application. So, after the application, I received an email that basically said, hey, we want to learn more about you. We want to learn more about your business. When are you available for an interview, right? And I was shook. I was really shook. So, I have never had to, like, sit down with a group of panelists and speak on behalf of my company like professionally give numbers and you know my business plan and things like that so i was really nervous um to do this but for the interview process there was a total of i i don't remember exactly how many but i want to say anywhere between five and seven panelists who were interviewing me so the style of the interview was um, there was five minutes for introduction between me and the panelists and then I had about 20 minutes to talk and then they asked me questions for like the final five minutes, right? Um, roughly because I'm not exactly sure how much time it was, but roughly that. A lot of the panelists were people who were um, owners of storefronts in Boxyard, so it's still a new facility, so no one has actually moved in yet. Construction is still going on, but, um, you know, people who have already signed their leases and stuff and are going to be a part of it. Um, and then uh, members of the Boxyard team, members of NC Idea, um, 
that were all interviewing me. So um, I actually put together a presentation. I put together a PowerPoint and let me tell you, I took this serious, more serious than any school assignment I've ever done, right? So um, it was fly though. It was nice. I had, it was, it was lit. So I started off by talking about my mission at Skylight um, because I wanted to really stress that um, uh, the biggest part of Skylight is to create a community and to create an experience, right? So I spoke a lot about that. Um, also, I gave some insight into the candle industry because the candle industry is bussing. <laughs> <laughs> no, but no games. No games, though. <clears throat> The candle industry is expected to double by 2025, at least based on my research. So there's that. And I also spoke about my vision for Skylight um, and the different avenues I take, I want to take for expansion and stuff like that. So um, with the anticipated growth of the candle industry, plus the home decor industry that I am trying to get into, I'm expecting an exponential growth of my business. And I really spoke about what Skylight can provide to the triangle, what we can do um, differently, and um, why we're the perfect fit. So the presentation started with me talking a lot about Skylight's mission. How our mission is to um, connect people through our living and lifestyle brand. I spoke a lot about um, how we have a different approach to our business model and why we are the perfect fit for Boxyard, right? I really stressed the reasons why I felt like I was the perfect fit for the opportunity. Um, you know, just being a newer business owner and how much I felt like the opportunity would help me to expand in the local community. Um, Skylar has done an amazing job so far in just one year of business, but I really want to focus on, you know, impacting people locally, getting more local customers, building my local clientele, um, and still, you know, my reach as well, but I feel like I can do a better job in my local area. So I really stress that this was going to be the perfect opportunity. So for the next part of my presentation, I drew out the actual storefront, like the shipping container, and exactly what I plan to do with the space. So um, I was provided some things to work with, like the dimensions and also different furniture and stuff like that that would be in the space. So um, I drew that out. I drew exactly what collections I had. I also was very transparent on the new things that I plan to bring in, but um, have to do some more work in. So... I just laid out everything and um, just had was open to questions, any questions anyone had about what I plan to do with the space. For the final part of the presentation, I put together um, my budgeting plans for the micro grant. Um, so I really wanted to focus on marketing and also inventory and something that will hold me down for a good amount of time. And um, I spoke of different marketing ways that I plan on using the money outside of like social media um, and also um, different things that I help think would help me scale like a wax melter, um, an industrial size wax melter and stuff like that, which um, I ended up getting. So I might end up getting another one. <laughs> but yeah, that was pretty much it for the presentation. The last part was the scariest um, and it was my the questions, right? So after the, after the presentation, I had to go back a couple times to the presentation um, because the panelist was asking me questions about specific things. This was the first time I had to like show all of my numbers, you know, um, my profit margins and everything for my business. So I think that was a little bit scary. And even when I was starting off the um, presentation, I was really nervous. But as I continued to talk about it, I got more comfortable because like Skylight is my little baby and I love to talk about her, right? They asked me questions about, you know, how was I able to scale? And, you know, I basically told them of different avenues that I took. So one question that they asked that stood out to me is, um, what do I plan on doing? Um, because I've grown so much in my first year and, um, what's your plans? Are you planning to get a storefront? Are you planning to get a warehouse? What are you, what are you planning to do? And I was very transparent and saying like, I really don't know. Like I did not know that Skylight was going to grow this much. I honestly, right now I work in what is a closet. Basically it's 70 square feet right now. It's working, per working perfectly fine for me. Um, I am very organized <laughs> and <laughs> I'm very <laughs> organized and, um, 
right now the space works but i can see in the very near future me needing more space so recently i've been looking into um different warehouse spaces and stuff like that but i told them i really just i really just don't know but i do know that box yard is going to be the perfect opportunity to find out if a storefront is something that's going to work well for me right because i worked in retail before however i have never like managed um a storefront or anything like that but I'm willing to learn I'm willing to try it out and I'm open-minded right but I always said I don't know if I'd want to do a storefront like warehouse and then it's funny because I had an Instagram poll on my story and I was like any questions and someone's like when are you opening a store and I was like I don't know about opening a store I don't know maybe something sometime soon and um it's what's actually funny about it is I said sometime soon because I was looking into like different like warehouse spaces potentially um but what's so funny about that is like literally two days after I found out that I got box yard and I was like oh my gosh I just I just unintentionally spoke it into the universe right so this is it's really exciting I am I'm I'm so excited to design this like the store and like make it all cute and stuff like that so I'm gonna keep you guys alongside with me on the journey um, I'm really excited to have like extra space and stuff like that right now um, every, like right now everything is great I'm super happy I what's so hard is the area that I'm in is that all the industrial spaces are so big and I really don't really need so much space like so if you are local to Raleigh Durham um, my box yard slot is November December January um, may or may not change a little bit um but i'm super excited that means um black friday christmas new year i'm gonna have a storefront so i'm actually very happy but i'm also really nervous because last black friday was already crazy and you know um managing a storefront and doing all of these things during that time right now it's just me that manages the business um i might have to seek out some help but i'm super excited like it's just growth you know and these are part of the growing pains but not everything that's hard is bad you know so i'm very excited for that um also looking into some new space right where i live at um in the triangle all the industrial spaces are so huge and i feel like that's the only reason that um it's been taking me a while to get a warehouse because i've been able to do great things in that little room right and um i don't need a ton of space maybe like a thousand to two thousand square feet max is what i would need for a warehouse and everything around my area is so big so um i've been shopping around and i've been open-minded i've had been in very good spirits lately i'm looking to expand the business out of nowhere everyone in my shop started asking for soap so i've been working on soaps trying to get down a recipe and um been really working on my expansions for home decor and stuff so i'm i'm really excited for that but next as far as like skylight and box yard and stuff goes um it's literally like seven minutes from my house so i'm really excited it's gonna be a very easy commute they also even said i could have a shop pup they also could, could they even said i could have a shop pup come here elegance come here ellie her name is Bella Rosa Cristina Ginobalao Sucontra, Mumbai, Montana, Elizabeth, and she is a, um, pit bull. <laughs> she's, she's a very mean pity, right? She's a, it's funny because, um, we were walking her and someone was like, hey, is that an Amstaff? And I was like, uh, huh? <laughs> what? She's Bella. That's what she is. But... I'm expecting right now I spend a lot of time at home because I'm full time with the business now so I hang out with Bella all the time we're like girls and I'm expecting to have her in the shop all the time with me so I'm I'm really excited for this opportunity um uh if you want to know more information about grant put yourself in the best position to receive a grant let me know in the comment section below I did do a lot of research and attended um a couple webinars before doing this grant and I can share with you some information but I don't want to make this video too long so please let me know in the comment section below if you would like to know information about grants or any information um, outside of that that you want to see like girl if you want to know what kind of foundation I use today if you want to know any of that let me know this channel is everything as far as my lifestyle it's not necessarily a business channel but um Skylight is a huge portion of my life, so of course you guys are going to see it. But if you want to know anything, literally, um, let me know in the comment section below. But I'm super excited for this. Um, 
I'm gonna let, show you guys my store. If I do um, find a space, I'm gonna let you guys know that too. But thank you guys so much for watching my video today. Please make sure you go ahead and like and subscribe. Share with your homies. And until next time, 